Do you need to update your kitchen and bathroom? Are you putting in new countertops? Do you just need some new faucets? Today, I'm gonna to show you step-by-step step how to replace faucets. And welcome back to More Approved. I'm James. Today, we're gonna to swap out these faucets. Let's get started. All right, to get started, you're gonna to wanna to make sure your water is off. You're gonna to wanna to shut these off. You're gonna put these in clockwise until they bottom out. Don't over tighten them, you don't wanna break them. Once your water is off, you're gonna to wanna to loosen this nut Take this off and put it into a bucket directly, then turn the faucet on to break the vapor barrier, which will drain all the water out of the line. So now that the water is off, we'll go ahead and loosen this with a crescent wrench. And when you turn the faucet on, it's gonna let all that residual water break free and come out. So we'll go ahead and do the other side now. Since that's all disconnected, we can go ahead and get this taken out. Next step is to remove these water lines and then remove these retainers and then it's ready to come out. So for these retainers, they should just be finger tight. If you are having difficulties getting those off, try to position a wide screwdriver and then giving it a tap on the backside that'll help break it free but obviously you're going to need to use a hammer or something on the backside just to give it a little bit more force to get that initial turn so it's broken loose all right we'll go ahead and repeat the process on the other side if you do have a drain stopper you'll go ahead and remove this screw and then you'll be able to remove the faucet and now all we have to do is loosen this screw and the faucet's ready to come out Uninstallation of the faucet, fairly quick and simple. Installation is just as easy. So after we get these countertops swapped out, we'll go ahead and install the new fixtures. All right, it's the next day. We actually have some new countertops put in, but we've removed the old faucets and now it's time to put the new ones in. So the installation process is gonna be fairly simple and easy. Go ahead and put this little plastic piece onto the bottom. It has a foam gasket around it to keep any water from getting through. This is then gonna go over the countertop. You'll take this piece, put it up this threaded bar, and then you're gonna use this portion and then thread this all the way in until you have a nice firm seal. Hook up your water lines, and then you're good to go. Plastic piece goes down first. This is where that little foam seal is. Then your fixture, feed everything down through the opening. Then on the bottom side, this is gonna come up in through that threaded rod. And then we're just gonna tighten this into place, hook up the water lines and we're finished. Then we're going to take this piece, start threading this up. We're just going to jet finger tape this into place for now, make sure the fixture is straight, and then we can tighten it down. I'm using a crescent wrench, we'll go ahead and cinch it down. The new faucet also came with a new pop-up. This is a spring-loaded for this. You want to make sure that you know the exact way that it came off. So this is going to be your base piece. This is your next piece. And then it's going to be facing this direction towards the bottom of the sink. It comes with a rubber gasket. There's no plumber's putty needed. Drop this down on the inside. Line it back up with your piping. And then we go ahead underneath and put this piece on first followed by this piece, and then we just tighten this into place by hand until it's nice and snug. So as you can see, this is too long to fit in the existing tube. We're just gonna have to trim this down. I'll go ahead and make this cut, and then we'll get back to it. Clean up the edges a little bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead, make sure we can manipulate and get this all into place here. 
This piece goes in first. Set that into place. Followed by this piece. And the final piece. Now this is for the compression fitting. Not easy that way. Snug that into place. Make sure this is lined up. Make sure all your connections are firm and you're good to go. The last step is to hook up the water lines. Here's the finished product. It was pretty simple and quick, not too bad after you get your first one done. They're all really easy after there. So if you have multiples to do, the first one's gonna take you the longest. It's gonna go a lot faster after that. It looks great. It adds a lot of value to your home. So make sure if you're gonna be doing any home remodeling or renovations, check out my DIY playlist for more ideas. Replacing your existing fixtures is an affordable and easy home upgrade. Hope this helped everyone. Till next time, see you then.